If we want to sketch logarithms, we can break it down into five steps. Our first step as always is to check the form of the function that we're given, just to verify that it's not in some weird factorized form. The second thing we do is we check for the vertical asymptote. The third thing that we're going to do is look for the intercept points of the logarithmic graph. And when we've got all of these features kind of packed together, we've got an idea of what the function is doing. But a fourth and important point is to look for a scale point. A scale point will give us an indication of what the graph is doing after these intercept points. Our last step is to just verify the shape of the log graph. So what do the A and B values tell us? To take a closer look at this step five process, we've got four cases for the shape of a logarithm. To really get a good feel of why logs take their shapes, it's important to remember the inverse relationship it has with an exponential function. This inverse relationship is geometrically equivalent to just flipping it over the line y equals x. Which is not only like really freaking cool to see, but it also explains why the logarithm has a vertical asymptote rather than a horizontal asymptote. Which we can just see here. The horizontal asymptote on the exponential is just y equals zero. So the vertical asymptote on the log function should be x equals zero. Okay, back to shapes of logarithms. So in here, we can see we've got four cases for the shapes. The first one, a is positive, b is positive. And the second one, a is positive, b is negative. In the third one, a is negative, b is positive. And then the fourth one, both a and b are negative. And so overall, we can see there are four different cases for the shape of a logarithm. We're going to have a look at an example of putting a sketch of a logarithm together. And so the first thing I want to do is just check the form of my log. Okay, and here I can see there are no tricks in what I'm given in my question here. Uh, so the form is correct. The next thing I want to have a look at is my asymptote. Now my asymptote is going to occur when the stuff in here is equal to zero. Okay, and there's a, there's a really good reason for it. And it's because if you if you kind of recall going from log to exponent form, um, we can have some base here. I'm just going to call it k, like log base k. So it's sort of like saying k to the power of what is equal to zero. Like if you're saying this stuff in here is equal to zero, then it's like saying k to the power of what is equal to zero. And a refresher from your index laws, this is actually uh, impossible. Okay, so we are going to say that since that's impossible, then there is an asymptote there. So the stuff inside the brackets cannot equal zero and actually can't be negative either. So we're gonna have a horizontal asymptote when the stuff in there is equal to zero. And in our case, that's when X plus two is equal to zero. So X equals negative two. That is our vertical asymptote. The next thing I wanna look for is my uh, intercepts. And just like anything else, I'm going to find my y-intercept by letting x equal 0. And I'm going to find my uh, x-intercept by letting y equal 0. So once we've done that working out, we can see we've got two intercepts points. I've got an X intercept and a Y intercept. Now I've used the calculator to just simplify um, those out there. My fourth thing I want to do is I'm going to look for a scale point. So when we're picking a scale point, uh, we want to know what's it doing um, past the X points that we know. So here we know when X is equal to one and we know when X is equal to like negative uh, 1.39. So I'm just going to say, well, I want to know what's happening um, at X equals a two. And so I'm going to say, let X equal two. What's my corresponding Y value? So I can just draw my sketch together on my graph. Okay, so I've got my scale point there, uh, which is when x is equal to two, y is um, 3.77. And again, I'll just use a calculator to simplify that out. So the last thing that I need to do is I need to just verify my shape. And so my working is getting a little bit all over the place here, but I'm just gonna do it in small here. So I'm just gonna verify the shape. Now here, 
um, looking at my, if I go back to my original, I've got A, A is positive, so A is positive, and B, which is the number in here, which is just one, B is also positive. I say A is positive, B is positive, therefore, my log is going to look like that. Okay, but we know it's actually got an asymptote over here, but th that's, that's the general shape of it. And then I'm just gonna put it together as a sketch. And so there I've just put all of the elements of my sketch together. And so that's how we put together a logarithmic function.